Hi guys, in this video I'll be talking about how to create a power app that can recommend you some random movie. I know it doesn't sound like a business application, but um, it, it's an interesting way to understand how data from Flow can be returned back to power apps and how you can use open APIs in that in the flows and then just return the data in Power Apps and not use any custom connector. Um, I personally didn't like to use custom connector because it, it was not so easy to configure every time. And also um, in my Power Apps plan, I could add only one custom connector. Um, so this new feature of returning data from Flow to Power Apps, it's, it's a big, big advantage right now. And uh, I just wanted to sh kind of show you the pow power of that feature in this kind of application. So before I kind of start telling more about how, to, how I used uh, the different APIs and the Flow, I'll just show you how this app works. So basically you just enter the duration first. So let's say I enter 2015 to 2018. Uh, let's keep it 2000, 2000, yeah. And I can select one or more languages. Um, so let's select two or three languages and I've selected some of the genres over here. And then just click on suggest a movie. There you go. So let me try it once again. See, so see, um, it returns the the name of the movie the genre, the release year, an overview of it, the rating on IMDb, it's only 2 out of 10. And you can also click here to view this movie on IMDb. Um, if the movie has a video uh, or a trailer on YouTube, uh, I've tried to pull that information. Let's see, let's try clicking one more time. And there you go. So yeah, if there is a trailer on YouTube, it pulls it from the API and shows over here. So um, what APIs have I used? Um, I've used two APIs uh, and you can see where. So the first API is TMDB and the other one is OMDB. Now you, you'll have to generate your own keys and uh, you can um, put it in this um, input box and just save it so it gets saved in your database and uh, um, you can then use it anytime in this app. So yes, I, I will be sharing this app on the Power Apps community and uh, I'll also share the, the data uh, Excel that I'm using. Um, so you can use this app and play around with it and see how it works for you. So um, this TMDB and OMDB, these are the two websites. Um, TMDB is themoviedb.org and OMDB is omdbapi.com. Uh, I'll share the links um, below um, in this video so that you can create your own keys. Um, so yeah, once you have, uh, entered the keys, um, you can just try and kind of look around the different kind of ways you can request data and, uh, so the, the API that I have used is the discover API that discovers basically searches for a list of movies uh, based on some uh, inputs that you give. So what I used was um, the, the primary release date. Uh, so less than 
greater than so you put the the two years over here and um, what else did I so I use the genres they have uh, an ID for each of the genre you can uh, get that list of genres and the IDs from here so basically just try to see what all makes sense for you and you can kind of extract all the data uh, from this API accordingly um, so what I have done on the flow side so the flow works uh, okay so my trigger is power apps um, I'm first getting the number of pages that are returned by the discover request. Uh, yeah, I need to put my key over here. But uh, basically, so what it does is I I put the 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 request URL over here. It's the get method and. Uh, I am defining the API key from the Power Apps variable, the release date, uh, start and release date, end, the genres, the IDs of the genres, and uh, the the languages. Uh, so what this gives me is the the results, uh, but to get like a, a random suggestion, what I've done is. Um, I'm selecting the page so they have a the page um, variable which um, by default is set to one um, what I'm doing is I am randomizing that number so that I can get uh, a different search result every time so uh, so this returns me the the, the total number of uh, pages uh, when I kind of send the request and uh, I'm what I'm doing is I'm randomizing the the page from the total number of pages now in case it's more than thousand I put some uh, if statement to see if it's more than thousand not to go beyond thousand because that's the maximum you can put for the random function um, so um, that way I get like a random number and then um, getting the movie details um, let's see. so uh, once you get the result um, each page kind of returns 20 uh, movies so what I've done is I've tried to return, uh, select a random number from there as well so it selects a random number between 1 to 20 and returns the um, uh, movie details uh, for that. Um, so I get the movie details from here. I This is from TMDB. Um, it does return me an IMDB ID of the movie uh, that I can use in OMDB API where I can specify the IMDB ID of the movie and can get more details uh, so uh, the reason why I did these both API's is they have some different data and I wanted to show how you can collect a data from two different API's and just combine it over here and use and send it back to power apps so um, as you can see I'm returning the, the movie title movie overview poster path release date, genre, all these things back to Power Apps. I'm not going to go into details of uh, how I am using each of these variables. Um, you can explore the API if you want to make something on movies. Uh, but otherwise, this just shows you how you can kind of return multiple uh, variables back to Power Apps. Now, on the Power App side, um, you can see I've I basically just um, set a, a variable called random movie details that stores all the details that's returned from the flow. 
uh, this is the flow the random movie generator and uh, it the random movie data is basically collects all the data that's returned from the flow so you can see the movie title is random movie details or movie title um, this is basically a gallery uh, of buttons um, it's just the way i wanted to show the genres so uh, it it takes the genres and kind of splits it into uh, different genres and uh, you can see if let me see if I can show you what so yeah you see there are three genres associated with this movie and it returns all the three genres so what I've done is I've collected the genre from the OMDB API um, it says genre action crime drama um, what I've done here is for this gallery, the the item says basically split random movie details or genre and the separator is comma. So it basically splits the three different genres and uh, kind of makes it like the split basically returns it as a table of values. So it stores the, stores the three different genres in uh, three different records. Basically and I'm showing it here in a kind of a tabular format. The overview, the release date, for the rating, I, as you can see, I'm, I've used the, the rating control and uh, the view on IMDB is uh, launch. Uh, this is the URL generally for each, for any movie and um, adding the the IMDB ID at the end so that it can open it on IMDB. So just to show you how it works, uh, as you can see, I clicked on it and it's opening the, the details of the movies on IMDB. You can also play the video over here. And let's give it a second. Hmm. Maybe there's some issue with my connection, but it should it should be working fine. You can see it's kind of showing the different thumbnails. So yeah, um, I've tried to use some different UIs over here. This is actually a, a gallery of checkboxes. So I'm selecting each of you can select all the genres. Um, basically, it's a checkbox, and that's how you can select multiple genres and send it to the API. Uh, same for the languages and the reset all filters basically resets, resets everything. The settings is actually, this is something that I've learned from uh, different users, uh, different champions of Power Apps who have created these kind of uh, um, one screen app where you can kind of click on icons to access different things and just use some overlays, some timer and kind of uh, display the screen and make it uh, go back. It's, it's actually pretty cool and uh, I know um, I want to give a shout out to Daniel Christian and Brian Dang as well, who have been kind of quite inspirational for me to make um, a lot of my apps. So thank you guys. And uh, I think that's, that's it in this video. Um, if you would like to know more about this, uh, um, give me, just to write some comments in this video and uh, don't forget to give a thumbs up if you liked it if you want to get more if you want to be uh, notified of each new video um, just subscribe to my channel i know my channel has only four or five videos right now but 
I'm planning to make more videos and hopefully more videos on Power Apps, uh, more interesting stuff and any new features that come up, I'll try to put it in some um, kind of a use case, not always a movie case. Uh, it, it was just kind of cool to use this API and that's why I, I created this. But otherwise, um, I, I try to build in more kind of business scenarios and uh, um, implement all these new features or any different uh, way that you can use Power Apps for your business processes. Um, all right. Um, thank you and uh, happy Power Apping.